could you just say a few words about how you were when you started art therapy? Yep, um, when I started I wasn't, you know, I wasn't myself, I wasn't very well. I was quite, I had quite low self-esteem, um, negative thoughts about myself and um, just wasn't thinking straight, so yeah. Could you say something about this first piece? I wasn't sure what to, what to do and I just started drawing some glances and I was thinking about like, you know, outlooks on life and things and, you know, how it'd be nice to have a set of rose tinted glasses really to, mm. you know, hide behind basically. So it was trying to put that idea visually in front of me. Mm. So. And what was it like making it? I really enjoyed it, actually making it, trying to put the perspective in there and stuff and then like changing a black and white drawing and then adding colour to it was, was nice. So yeah, I did, en- I did enjoy doing it, but obviously it was like deep in thought at the same time. To think about what sort of thing I was trying to get across, what sort of feelings and stuff. So. Do you feel you got it across? Yeah, I, I think I did, because I think when, when we put up for us all to talk about, and I think we had a good conversation about that. So. Yeah. If we look at the second piece you chose, mm-hmm. could you say something about that? Yeah, the, the second piece, I don't, I don't really fully 100% remember doing it. I remember the day, I remember like I went to a job interview that didn't go very well and I was just stressed out and I was on a bit of a low and I, I just wanted to make something nice to look at to cheer myself up. Mm. It's the sort of thing I do when I'm really low, I make bright, happy things to sort of adjust my mood as such. Mm. So, And I was wondering what point in therapy you made this one? I made that four, four months after, yeah. Yeah, yeah, four months after the first one. So yeah, it was just when I was starting to get everything sort of like flat contact with my daughter and everything just got a bit much around that sort of time. So mm. that's a lot happening. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And what do you remember about making this piece? Not much. The only thing I remember really doing about it was putting the frame around it, even though it's just another piece of paper, but just so it's finished. You know, it was sort mm. of like I'm doing that, that's that, that's done, that's that sort of moment over really, sort of like putting a full stop and leaving it alone. So. Yes. I was also thinking, because it's a group, I wonder what you remember of other people's um, response to the painting. Um, I, I just remember the group as such, as like everyone was really interested in what I was doing, not just in work, uh, in the artwork, but in everything, why I was wearing a shirt, trousers, things like that, and polished shoes and, things, <laughs> and you know, I remember that. And, I remember having a bit of a moan, but... And could you just say a few words about how you are now? Yeah, I, I've i definitely got my confidence back. Not not to the extent that I had it before I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress and everything else. Mm. Um, but it's gradually coming back. I'm a lot more relaxed about stuff and I don't let things get to me. And I think, you know, definitely part of the group is it's made me more confident in speaking to people and just having a general chat rather than thinking about what's their intentions of this conversation and mm-hmm. and things like that. I can just think, oh, it's, it's a nice person to talk to or whatever, so it's just a bit more easier and become a bit more confident about showing my artwork as well to people outside of art therapy. What is it that made those changes happen? Because it's it's group session, you know, you've got to learn to be comfortable around each other and it makes you have a, a tolerance to everything, so mm. and understanding, and, and know that it's not always all about you. <laughs> it's about, it is about <laughs> other people as well, and, mm. and so yeah. So, uh, I learned to be able to laugh at myself, <laughs> silly like situations and stuff. But also, like one of the big things was listening. Listening to people made it a big difference because you you sort of understand that it's not just you, it's everyone else, and you've got like a really you know you get an under, you get a collective understanding, I suppose. I think it gives you that little bit of a spark, like a confidence to move on, and yeah. So, mm-hmm. what is it about the artwork um, within that group? Um, it helps you express yourself and. I, I think being around creative people makes you more creative and mm-hmm. and also doing the artwork and being able to concentrate on something and having the structure of the artwork I think is a really big factor of the group and then being able to talk about the artwork 
afterwards with each other and get everyone's opinions and constructive criticisms. But you know, being able to be open, open and know that you know the, that you've done it together, so you've got rights together as like you know doing your artwork. You've got rights to tell someone that that's rubbish or that's mm-hmm. good or yeah. and stuff like that because you've sort of done it as as a group, which is quite nice. So mm-hmm. it sort of gives you like the sense of ownership between the lot of you. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's interesting. Is there anything else you'd like to you'd like to mention? Well, yeah, I suppose like the, the, the good thing about art therapy, it's not just about the therapy, it's, it's about the people you're with as well. And it's, it's, that's how it's changed my confidence because I've mm-hmm. had to sit in a room with strangers and then get to know them and, you know, without having a meltdown. <laughs> and I, think, <laughs> I think that that's where I think art therapy has benefited me the most. Mm-hmm. So, yeah.